decades ago, Bloomfield, Kentucky was a boom town built on tobacco. But as tobacco went, so did Bloomfield. Buildings began to crumble. By the 90s, this small all-American town was falling apart. Things are different now. Bloomfield is growing and thriving again. It's back, you know. Thanks to Hollywood. Yes. The unlikely heroes driving the revival are Jerry Bruckheimer and his wife, Linda. The Kentucky woman who, who brought it all back. The same Jerry Bruckheimer who's known around the world as one of Hollywood's biggest producers. He's the one behind Pirates of the Caribbean, Flashdance, and Top Gun. You know, I've been very fortunate to work on such iconic movies. So you're the one. Yes, ma'am. Movies like Beverly Hills Cop and TV shows like CSI. No relation, I'm assuming. And that tree you see at the end of every episode stands right here in Kentucky on a farm in Bloomfield, the place the Bruckheimers call home. We've become part of the community, you know, we're friendly with a lot of people. We have, to say the least, a great life in Los Angeles, but there's just nothing like Kentucky. And as big as Jerry's drive is for making movies, Linda's passion is preservation. I'm an old-fashioned person, so I like, I, I, I like to bring back um, uh, the charm, and this is a perfect place to do it. So when the Bruckheimers moved here, they set out on a mission of restoration. I remember what these buildings were like 25 years ago, yeah. and the town has completely come back. We've got a tea room. We have the old Bloomfield Meeting Hall, which is utterly fantastic. Bowling, uh, skating rink. Uh, it's the most fun anybody can have. And at the heart of it all is an antique store known around the world. This is now a destination for people to come to to shop for antiques. Yes, so it is. It's named after Linda's great grandmother, Nettie Jarvis. Jerry said, gosh, Nettie Jarvis, that's a great name for an antique store. I'm getting credit for that, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you are. I didn't know yes, that. I didn't know I was. It's a small town experience that's become attractive to locals, tourists, and some of Hollywood's biggest stars. There's a lot of uh, Hollywood uh, notables have been here. I remember hearing a friend calling here, you're not going to believe who's walking down the streets of Bloomfield, but Sylvester Stallone is in town. Right. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, he's been, he's been a visitor. And, yeah. People come here and they love it. Pat Riley's been seen playing a little basketball with a couple of kids on the, on the street. Cal Ripken has been here. Wayne Gretzky has been here. And where do the stars sleep when they're here? They actually stay in an array of historic cabins that the Bruckheimers have been restoring piece by piece. One cabin on the farm dates back even before Abraham Lincoln. And that's where Lincoln's parents were married. <laughs> there was also a, a cabin here that was falling apart here in town that was the first free slave cabin. So we took that and restored it. And I assume that your guests walk away with a great knowledge of, of Kentucky. One of the questions that I used to get was, what do you do when you're in Kentucky? The minute they get here, that becomes, how do you ever leave this fantastic place?